I'm going to be honest with you. I hate this place, this zoo, this prison, this reality, whatever you want to call it. I can't stand it any longer. I must get out of here. I must get free. All right, guys, this is serious. Can we please stop with this tokenization crap? This is getting irritating. I let it go so many times. I let it go when you guys allowed Captain Marvel to be white and then let the black Captain Marvel, who is the original in the comic books, become subservient and look up to the white Captain Marvel. I let it go. I let it go with tokenized Black Canary. I let it go with tokenized Roland DeShane being Idris Elba instead of a Clint Eastwood looking dude like he's supposed to be. I let it go. I let it go. I let it go. But this crap with Interview with the Vampire, this is too far. Okay, Jacob Anderson from Game of Thrones, he played Grey Worm, he is supposed to be playing Louis in the Interview with the Vampire series by AMC. Stop it. This whole series takes place in slavery in the south and then goes across to Europe and you're going to tell me that a black man no matter how much money he has is going to be able to blend into society to the point where he can drain white people of their blood and continue on like nothing happened are you kidding me let alone the fact that we know that Lestat will end up being white and so we're going to somehow avoid the question of, hey, is this your slave? Like Django and Chain never happened. And we didn't already have this happen with Dr. King, Schultz, and Django. Were they asking whose nigga this is? Stop it. According to a comingsoon.net article, they claim that this casting was open. But we know good and well that this was not open casting. Because A, they wouldn't have had to change his complete profession from being a plantation owner to being a brothel owner if it was actually open casting. This is nonsense. And uh, for all the uh, idiots that are clamoring, well, Anne Rice is okay with it. She doesn't have a choice but to be okay with it because she sold the rights to these books a long time ago. And they're giving her an executive producer credit, which means that she'll at least have some sort of sway in the story. But other than that, she has no creative control. So she can either be okay with it or she can be a vocal opponent with it and be called a racist. So this is just more stupidity. There are plenty of stories about black vampires. You could even make one up. Why do we keep doing this? This isn't this isn't any type of diversity. This is tokenization at best. Stop it. We have plenty of stories about black characters and we can make up new stories about black characters. We do not need white hand-me-downs of stories that have already been played by better actors with better directors and better production values. I am so sick of having to watch this day in, day out of some new white hand-me-down given to the black community and we're just supposed to clap our hands and love the fact that the white master just gave us his shoes when we could have just bought our own. This is nonsense. We have to stop this. I mean, just look for more tokenization going forward. Like I keep telling you, when the pendulum switches backward, when it inevitably goes backward and you get something like a white panther do not cry i don't want to hear it because you were cool with it when it was the other way around this has to stop it's stupid it's just as stupid as replacing male characters with female characters or replacing ginger characters with black characters when a character is already existing there is no need to swap them with any other type of character to make some sort of forced fake diversity because make no mistake the people making this crap do not care about diversity in any meaningful way they don't care about our real stories or our real experiences the only thing that they care about is giving you the illusion of diversity while giving you the same old story regurgitated because they have run out of ideas. If you haven't picked up on that yet, then you are asleep. Don't cry woke. Don't put your fist in the air. Don't start talking about how, you know, black lives matter or, or diversity matters or representation matters because you're not being represented. You're just being color swapped. This doesn't work. Stop allowing this. 
Me for myself, I'm not watching this crap. And if I do watch it for review purposes, best believe it's not AMC isn't getting a real view for me. I have my ways. I will be watching it in one of those ways, but I will not give them a view for this tokenized, lazy garbage. It needs to stop. I don't know how many times I can say it. I don't know how many uh, wasted brain cells and breath I can give to this nonsense. Every single time that some company clamors about diversity, knowing all of the stories, knowing all of the authors that we have in our communities, in black communities, in Asian communities, in Latino communities, we know that we have our own stories and yet we continue to allow Hollyweird to keep pumping out white stories with black faces. It needs to stop. We can do better, we should do better, and we should expect better. We are the consumer. They need us, we do not need them. So when they pump out these lazy, half-assed stories about nothing, about stories that we've already seen. Interview with the Vampire came out in the 90s. I know because I've seen it. It actually made me read the original novels. We have to say no. This, it never leads to good storytelling. That's the other thing. Never have I seen a tokenized story like this lead to something different or something groundbreaking or something that just made me say, oh man, this this race swap really changed the way I look at this particular property. No, it's just a black face on a white story. Cut it out. You always talking about white supremacy this and white supremacy that, and yet you only see value in characters that were originally white. Falcon didn't matter until he had a white man's job, okay? Uh, Captain Marvel didn't matter. Y'all didn't even know she was black until comic book nerds like myself had to tell you. It never matters until uh, somebody has somebody else's job. Kid Flash didn't, uh, you know, wasn't cool until, you know, he became black. Like, this has to stop. It's just so much nonsense. And it's never contributing to the storytelling. The storytelling always takes a backseat to this forced diversity and forced nonsense. And it's just, it's crazy to me. And I just, I wonder when we're going to wake up and say, hey, this is literally just them recycling and giving us hand-me-downs of stuff that is irrelevant until they put a black face on it. One day we're going to figure it out. One day we're going to support the things that actually are original black characters. When you support this, I want to know, did any of you support Black Lightning when it came out? Because that was an original black character. Did you support that? Probably not, but I bet you, I bet you bottom dollar, y'all are going to show up to Journey Smollett playing uh, Black Canary like it's all good. I guarantee you with that. I know it. I can feel it in my bones when this nonsense comes out. I guarantee you, most of y'all won't support it. Y'all are clapping in comment sections. Y'all will look up Wikipedia articles about Interview with the Vampire, but y'all ain't going to watch this show. Why? Because you know deep down, it's stupid. It doesn't make any sense. We've had a black vampire for years, and yet y'all ignored him the first chance that Disney told you Black Panther was the first black superhero. We had Blade forever ago. We had a Blade TV series. Yep, but nope, nope, that doesn't matter because he didn't take a white man's job because he had no legitimacy because he was an original black character. All the legitimacy seems to come when we put a black face on a white character, and I, for one, am just tired of it. That's my rant, y'all. I'll talk to y'all later. Peace.